Local residents can soon undergo subsidised genetic testing for some conditions. The Health Ministry hopes to encourage more to take preventive action for their health without being deterred by costs. Health Minister Ong Hee Kang announced this at the launch of Phase 3 of the National Precision Medicine Programme. Medical tests like MRIs and CT scans only capture a moment in time, but genetics remain unchanged for life. A one-time genetic test can thus help to predict what illnesses a person might develop in their lifetime. The Health Ministry says this has the potential to help Singaporeans seek preventive care and early treatment. And MOH therefore decided that genetic tests should be a category of tests on its own. Those proven to be clinically and cost-effective and serve the objectives of an MOH-defined use case will receive subsidies and be eligible for MediSafe use. Any downstream interventions that are required as a result of this test, such as drug treatments and intensified surveillance, will likewise be supported. The first use case is for those with very high LDL, or so-called bad cholesterol. This greatly increases the risk of heart disease, even among young people. Since June, over 200 people have consented to have their genes tested for this condition. Singapore is looking to expand this to hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. They are based on ongoing genome sequencing of the Singapore population. The study has entered its third phase, which aims to record the DNA of half a million people here. It turns out that when we did our survey of the Singaporean genomes, there were a number of conditions that turned out to be particularly prevalent. Number one, that we could actually intervene early to improve health span, that ultimately when we do the clinical pathway is cost effective. The first one was familial hypercholesterolemia. We think that the second one could be could fit all of those bills, and that's hereditary breast and ovarian cancer. The health ministry is also working to pass new laws to ensure these genetic test results cannot be used in insurance underwriting or by employers. This is to maintain public trust in precision medicine.